Hey everyone, my name is Ben Summers. Now, you probably don't recognize me because I have not done a video review for Gumball Tech before, but I am a writer at GumballTech.com. Today, I'm going to do a little video on this rollable, foldable Bluetooth keyboard. This is a really cool product, and I'm just going to give you a demo using my iPhone and then a review. So this is the EFO Series Mini Rollable Bluetooth Keyboard, and this should be the first link down below uh, in the description. You can get it for $34. It's a very rugged design, and if you happen to be typing up that big paper of yours out in the desert and a sandstorm comes along, don't worry, because this can be used in a sandstorm. Uh, that's just one of the little facts on the packaging, which is actually pretty cool. It's a little cylinder, and on it you have some information about the product, um, operating requirements, features. Uh, this is the keyboard itself. It also comes with the operation manual and a charging uh, USB cable. The keyboard itself is very nice. It's made of silicone and you've got the main keys in black and the outer ones in gray. On the side there is a little receiver transmitter for the Bluetooth and also probably a battery compartment. There's a light indicating when it is on and off. And on the bottom as you can see there's just a uh, white back. Since this keyboard is Bluetooth it should work with a lot of devices. The manufacturer lists those as being computer, iPhone, iPad, and Nokia phones. Although I'm sure if you have a Blackberry phone or Android phone that has Bluetooth, it'll probably work with those too. I'm going to demo this using an iPhone. And if you don't have uh, your keyboard connected, you're going to go to Settings. That'd be General and Bluetooth. Make sure it's on. Uh, make sure your keyboard is on. That's the little switch in the back there. Right there. And you should find it. And you should be able to connect. So I'll just go and create a new note and show you some of the typing. Let's do the classic, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy moose. Uh, this keyboard is not bad. Uh, you could try and spread out all your fingers, as I'm doing here, but it's a bit cramped. As you can see, my fingers don't quite fit. So what I like to do is kind of use my uh, index fingers and type like that. It actually works pretty well. Now, just for comparison, let's put this next to an Apple wireless keyboard, which we have here. And here is the Bluetooth keyboard. So interesting size difference. The Apple keyboard is quite a bit bigger. What's interesting about this is that it does include all of the uh, Mac function keys. As you can see, both these have escape, brightness down, brightness up, expose, dashboard, etc. Uh, which is an interesting, it's interesting that they would uh, include that because they really do cram them in here. These keys are tiny, especially compared to these ones, which are already small enough. But I guess it is useful if you're using this on a computer frequently to have those function keys. Obviously, they won't work for Windows, but if you have a Mac, there you go. Also on the side here, we have uh, the home key, which will actually work on the iPhone. If you hit the key um, on the iPhone, you'll go back to your springboard. If you double click it, you'll go to the multitasking dock. And all these other keys don't exactly do anything on the iPhone. That's the only one I found that worked. Um, if you're using a normal Bluetooth keyboard, like this one, with your iPhone, you can use certain keys, like the brightness keys will work and the volume keys will work. Unfortunately, that doesn't apply to this guy, but that's okay because it does its job pretty well. This keyboard is $34, which I would say is a pretty good price for what it does. As the name implies, it is one in a series, so you can pick up any of those at the first link down below in the description. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, feel free to subscribe to my little channel, that would be youtube.com slash alandt3, and leave your feedback in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed, everyone, and I hope to see you again in the